your first alert forecast only on Fox 47 News at 10. Now we're going to get an extended look at the forecast. It was pretty mild today, but it sounds like it could be kind of raining maybe. Yeah, we got, you know, some showers still lingering on it. This front's taking forever to go through. Mm -hmm. And we could see a few passing showers tomorrow afternoon, but most of the day will be dry. It's just going to feel like fall again, which officially starts at 444 in the afternoon on Sunday. And our first full week of fall next week looks like summer. Yeah, it's typical Michigan weather. Take a look at our temperatures. We have current readings in the mid to upper 60s, still a 70 there in Ann Arbor. Highs today were in the mid to upper 70s and a few 80s, so it's well above the normal, which is right around 71 degrees. And even these numbers are pretty mild for this uh, time of night, this time of year. What about the rain? Well, again, off again, showers. We missed out on the heavy stuff just to our east today. There are still some sprinkles and light showers around, especially those darker green shades. A lot of that real light green is kind of misty, but uh, it is starting to slowly pull away. Maybe another uh, hour, hour and a half, two at the most to kind of clear the mid-Michigan area. And then a lot of cloud cover. The clouds will break open towards dawn. Unfortunately, they're going to be replaced as most of the afternoon looks mostly cloudy. The regional temperatures running in the 50s to the north, so the front is just about right on top of Lansing. It has gone through on the west side of the state. Their winds are now westerly. But the temperatures are not falling real fast. In fact, the really cool air is way behind this front, so it's not one of those typical fall fronts that just change and change it dramatically. We will cool down to the 50s, which is mild for this time of year, and then tomorrow and into Sunday in the 60s. Here's a better look at those showers. Heavy rains and storms uh, heading into Pennsylvania and over there into uh, Ontario. We've got a lot of low clouds, and then look at the few spe specks of green. It's kind of what's going to happen here tomorrow. We'll have some sunshine, then mix in the clouds. Most of the middle part of the nation all wrapped up in this big change in the jet stream. Uh, rain's coming off of some tropical disturbances to the south across Texas, Louisiana, and then it wraps up into that cold front. So uh, just like we did last night, <laughs> missing out on most of these uh, sig more significant showers and storms. As we head into the overnight, all the rain showers head off to the east. We keep a lot of the clouds towards morning, breaking it open to see some sunshine, but that will be filled in again with a sprinkle or two or a brief passing shower. Not a lot of them, and it won't rain all that much, but it'll be a fall-like pattern. Our temperatures still would be pretty mild, pushing mid to upper 60s, so that's just a few degrees below normal. Winds could become more northerly on Sunday, and that will allow us to get more and more breaks. We're going to start around 40 degrees for the morning start and only get up in the low to mid 60s. It's actually going to be a cooler day than Saturday because of that north wind. And look at all the clear skies out here. That is most of next week. It is just an outstanding weather pattern for the entire week next week. The reason being, well, the cool weather will move on. This warmer temperatures will head east. And there's going to be a huge high pressure system from northeast Canada all the way into the eastern half of the U.S. It's going to block any systems that are stuck out west. And that means a pretty dry forecast with a whole lot of sunshine and warming temperatures. We get into the first week of, the, of fall and each and every day next week gets warmer and warmer. Kind of the reverse of what's supposed to happen. Still got a few showers around here for another hour or two. Clouds will break towards dawn around 55 degrees. For tomorrow, at times the sun will be out and a lot of times we'll have clouds and maybe a few passing stray showers with a high temperature around 66 or 67 degrees. Winds out of the north on Sunday, well that cools us down a little bit. It'll get more sunshine. A lot of sunshine Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and you see how we add a little more temperatures in the morning, which means we add a little more in the temperature department in the evening. With readings by Tuesday, that 71 is actually above normal for this time of year. And you see the numbers keep climbing. It's possible to get well into the 70s to near 80 degrees by the end of Friday or into Saturday. So there, those who like the mild weather we had this week, got another shot at it next week, which is a little setback for the weekend. So we can get through that and we're okay. Good. Looks like an awesome start to the fall. It is. And there's no rain showers tomorrow that should interfere with any plans. Good deal. Yeah. We love that. Thanks, yeah. Andy. Mm -hmm. And stay with us. We've got more news after this break. You're watching Fox 47 News at 10.